What if I told you that I'm watching a 171 inch screen right now that I can watch, play, and even work on? Well, I'm telling you the truth. And these are the X-Real One Pro glasses. For transparency reasons, Xreal did send these out for me to try, but I wanna be 100% clear, there was no requirements for me to make a YouTube video like I am now. I actually just really like the product and I wanna share it with you guys. So everything you're about to hear is 100% my real unfiltered opinion. Let's get into it. Just a friendly reminder, if you like these type of videos, please hit that thumbs up button. It allows me to understand that you guys like these videos and I'll make more of them. Also, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. So a lot of you guys that are watching these videos consistently and are subscribed, so just do that right now. Let's get back to the video. Let's start with what comes inside the box. First things first, you get the glasses. Very simple, all comes pre-installed, ready to go. It also comes with a USB Type-C cable that is very easily unplugged from the back of the glasses. That is what you use to plug into the devices that you want to show and display. It's very easily unplugged, so it ravels up nicely and can be stored for travel. Also, it'll be all stored in this beautiful, nice hard case to protect your glasses and hold your wire and glasses when you're traveling. Also in the box comes this little area here. It also comes with a manuals, which a lot of you guys wouldn't even use anyway, polishing cloth, lens frames, and as well as a different attachments for the nose. Um, these are the small and large versions. They have the mediums pre-installed for you. I felt like the mediums fit me perfect, so I didn't have to change them. And it all comes in this beautiful, nice box, very compact and easy. If you really wanted to bring everything, you could and just stick this in your backpack. One thing that doesn't come in the box, but definitely is worth looking to pick up, is this little camera. It comes in at around $99 for this little camera, but it unlocks so many awesome features for these glasses if you wanna to try to get the most out of them. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video, so stay tuned. Let's jump right into the specs that make these glasses so amazing. I'm gonna place these on my face and read these specs because there's a lot of them, and I know a lot of you guys want to hear them, so let's jump right into it. Let's start with the chipset of these glasses. This is the X1 Spatial Computing Chip from Xreal. It is a self-developed chip. It has high processing power, it has seamless device compatibility, and the stabilization algorithm that they use is just truly amazing. I can be going back and forth and the graphic just kind of stays and there's not many, not much blurriness. The display on these glasses are two Sony 0.55 micro OLEDs with full HD resolution at 1080p, 4 million pixels, 120 hertz refresh rate, 57 degrees of field of view, 171 inch vertical screen simulation, and high contrast vibrant colors. But you may ask, what about audio? And they did not lack here. They have built in acoustic components, no need for external headphones. It has balanced immersive audio for movies, games, and calls. I can definitely vouch for the audio. It really surprised me. I didn't think it was gonna be as good as it is, but it was amazing. For the adjustability and fit, the weight is 87 grams. The size comes in two different sizes, medium and large. Medium being 57 to 66 millimeters and a large for me from 66 to 75 millimeters IPD. I'm not sure what IPD is. I'm assuming that's this distance of the eyes apart from each other. Claims to fit up to 95% of the people for those two sizes. Three stages of adjustment in arms as well as zero pressure nose pads. There's three different sizes, the mediums coming pre-installed and the smalls and large coming in this little pack right here. Built in IPD adjustment software, so it kind of understands where your eyes are and then centers it accordingly if you're anywhere in those ranges of the medium and largest. For the lens features, they have electrochromic dimming. There's three different sets, so you can have it really dark, like if you're trying to you know, have sunglasses, to almost being transparent. It has clear mode, shade mode, and theater mode, and 700 nit peak brightness for these lenses. For the different display modes, you have anchor mode. This allows you to pin the screen to a place relative to your head. So if you're not gonna be moving around, if you want your screen over here, you can just pin it over there and continue to work. But you also have spatial anchoring mode that gets unlocked with this beautiful little camera that I mentioned before. This allows you to then have it pinned to a certain area in your room and it kind of recognizes and starts mapping out your room. So you can actually keep it there and walk around the room and it still stay in that location. The follow mode is very simple. You can click a mode and anywhere you look, the screen will center itself in front of you. 
Side view mode is just like it says, you can have it off to the side, and while you're working, doing things, and watching a tutorial over here, you can be working with your hands and building something in front of you. Kind of like a side monitor for real life. So the ultra wide mode is a 32 by nine curved display up to a 310 inch vertical canvas, which just gets absolutely massive. I don't use the ultra wide mode as often as you think. It just kind of makes me have to kind of rotate and to see everything. I'd rather everything be in my actual view to start, but to each their own. So let's talk about the performance of these glasses, which really make it stand out from the rest of the AR glasses on the current market. So it has ultra low latency, three milliseconds response time for the motion to photon latency. This allows for gaming and those type of experiences to really seem seamless and the immersion is just truly unbelievable. Industrial leading responsiveness for gaming and fast content. I would agree with that. It just, the responsiveness is just unbelievable. I've tried glasses similar to this and it's just worlds, worlds better. I didn't think the technology was at this point just yet. Anti-glare and those type of things, all those things seem to be pretty standard. The connectivity is pretty simple. It's pretty much any device that has USB type C uh, connection that allows that to be an output. So like PCs, Macs, smartphones, uh, smartphones like I'm using right now, it's just an iPhone that I'm reading the script on and allowing me to kind of make this video pretty seamless and not mess up all, all these lines and have to memorize them. Um, and don't forget gaming consoles like the ROG Ally, which is gonna be an absolute game changer for travel and just being able to take this on the go, truly amazing. The x -Real Eye optical accessory, um, that is this lovely thing right here that we talked about earlier that can be attached. It is $99, completely sold separately. Uh, enables that mode that we talked about earlier of anchoring it to a room and being able to be mobile. It can also record photos and videos. So I think it's a pretty cool option uh, to really kind of make content while, again, having access to your hands and things like that. So let's just go right into how to use it, okay? So you know all the specs, you know what comes in the box, but how simple is it to actually use? It's extremely simple. It is plug and play. I took this thing out of the box, plugged in the USB Type-C and plugged it directly into Ali's phone, had USB-C connection, again, because I'm still stuck on the lightning port on my iPhone. So it didn't work and I don't have an adapter. With that being said, it was seamless. As soon as I plugged it into the phone, it came up with the tutorial. The tutorial took me about one minute to do and it showed me everything you needed to know. How to switch modes, how to anchor it, how to go into the settings. The settings menu is truly simple and easy to understand and you can't really mess it up. There's buttons on the actual glasses that you use to navigate these settings. Um, a red one under here, a up and down to kind of navigate the menus. And there's also a button up here that can turn off the display. It's truly amazing how simple they made these glasses. I thought there's gonna be a huge learning curve when it came to these glasses and having to like learn how to use them and I have to download software on these different devices to make it work. It is nothing like that. It is plug and play and that's why I love it so much. And I've been using for the last three weeks early before launch because it just launched now. So if you want to check out these glasses and if this intrigues you in any way, shape or form, please check it out in the link below. Let's jump right into the script because I forget where I'm at. So like I mentioned before, the settings menu is extremely simple. All you have to do is click this button twice and boom, you're in the settings menu and it actually follows you around even while your screen is still anchored where you want it to be. So it's very simple. With the quick settings, you can adjust brightness, switch display modes and resize the positioning of your virtual screen. Um, you can also change the distance. It seems to be away from you um, in different me uh, meters, as well as the size. If you don't want to kind of have to look left and right while you're watching a movie, you can shrink that screen so you can just sit still and watch the movie. Let's jump into how me and Ali have been using these glasses lately for the last three weeks as we've been testing them before product launch. As you can imagine, we've been using Ali's phone a lot because she is the only one that has a USB type C on the bottom of her phone. So I've been hogging her phone just fully transparently because I'm still stuck on that lightning port. Uh, we've been using these a lot when being nap trapped with my son who's 11 month old that wants to be held when he naps. And these things are amazing to catch up on those Netflix shows and you know those YouTube videos and it's just so immersive. And in those nap times, you want the room to be quiet. There's white noise playing in the room. And these audio from the Bose audio built into these glasses is truly just amazing. I didn't think it was gonna be as good as it was. It's just 
just worked. Um, it kind of blocked everything out and it was amazing. It was definitely unexpected because usually those technologies aren't just quite there yet, but this one was 100% there. It truly is, you pop these bad boys on and it's just a home theater on your face. I know it sounds weird, but it truly is amazing. And I can only imagine, I'm just thinking about in the future how we would use these, hooking it up with that RG Ally, even the one that was partnered with HyperX, I can't wait for that thing to drop. I'm gonna plug that thing directly in here and it is the, like the ultimate portable setup. It truly is amazing. I can have it follow me, I can have it stationary, I can even have it allow me to, to do those DIY dad projects. I can have a video playing here while I'm working in front of me. The options are truly endless. I know a lot of you guys have are trying to compare this to the Apple Vision and the MetaQuest. I just feel like those devices are very big and bulky. Um, yes, they are independent devices. You can do things internally on them by themselves. This is dependent on what you are displaying from the device that you have it plugged into. And I rather do that and have it a lot smaller and a lot more functioning where I can carry it around in something as small as this. I'm super excited about the future with these. Again, with three weeks, I feel like it's still not enough time to just get the full, full experience of it, but I'm very, very excited for the future and I'm gonna continue using this. Me and Ali are constantly fighting over who's gonna get them, so I might just have to pick up another pair. And if we're talking about price point, these right now are $5.99 on their website and we'll put that in the link description below on sale from $650. So now let's talk about where these glasses have room for improvement because yes, I've talked very highly about these glasses, but there are a few things that I wish were a little different or maybe something in the, ch in the future can change um, maybe the technology is just not there yet, but these are the things that are my improvements. Of course, nothing's perfect. I do wish that the field of view was a little bit wider with that 57 degrees. I just, I feel like it could be a little bit better. I do have those little borders on the side a little bit, but I don't run into that issue too much. I also do wish there was another USB type C port um, on either end. So maybe there's a, a world where I can connect two devices at once and kind of multi-screen them. Um, maybe even a personal set of headphones if I wanted to use in-ears or something like that that have USB type device. So I would like to have maybe two device ports on both sides or one on each side, uh, allowing me for those multi-actions. These glasses aren't bulky by any means compared to other devices that do similar acts and can be used in similar ways. But I do think in the future, I wish there was a way of having them look a little bit more like sunglasses and it just kind of seamlessly be there. I feel like the technology just isn't there yet, but in the future, like walking around in public, you're still gonna get weird looks wearing these. Lastly, I know you can probably compatible, you can make a way of this working, but maybe even having the internals uh, be connected to your Bluetooth phone um, so I can then connect and like ask ChatGPT something or Alexa or you know any of the smart home devices they're connected to your phone. Uh, I think it would be a pretty cool way of having like that personal assistant on your face. I know it sounds weird, but I think it would be pretty cool. I do truly think these glasses can be game changers when you plug them into the right device. I know there's so many different devices out there that utilize USB type C currently. So if you guys have any ideas of devices you want me to try to plug them into to see what the experience is like, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to give it a try. So now I wanna hear from you guys. What would you pair these AR glasses with to you know run your movies on the go, gaming, productivity? I mean, I feel like a lot of you guys would use your phone, but be creative. I want to know different things to try to see what the experience is like with these glasses because I was truly blown away. I use them now on a daily basis, even if it's nap time or gaming or just to have a good time and watch a YouTube video. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you're thinking about picking up a pair, I'll drop a link again in the description so you can just use that link. That link does not support me in any way. I'm just trying to provide it for you for easy access. Until next time, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.